All right. We are back again, hopefully in the same spot. Testing, chat, test. Hopefully we're in the same spot here. I hope you can hear me. Let's see here. Testing, chat, test. Hopefully we're in the same. All right, it's gone. I don't know what was going on there. I don't know why that did that. This is a brand new um, microphone. It's a brand new web camera. Same thing. And uh, unfortunately, it's this thing costs a pretty penny, and it's not nearly as good as the one that cost less than half that I just replaced. I might send this thing back. Um, not sure what's going on here. Anyways, I'm not sure why I did that. Uh, anyways, yeah, crazy. I can't trust anything. It's nuts. All right, very good. Uh, we're back, and let's get to... Uh, this again all right well we've had fun with some scammers for a while we might call them back and we'll see sorry about that guys apologize grog that was great i think it was some feedback or something and it may have been because see what the way you guys can hear is you i put the speaker up next to the mic and that may have been it but the speakers aren't that loud it wasn't that so i don't know what was going on there but and whenever I moved it away, it, it still uh, still uh, didn't stop it. But, and whenever I moved it away, it, it still... Uh, and now I've got two of these still, things uh, up. Didn't stop it. But, now I've got to... And whenever I moved it away, it, it still... Uh, and now I have no clue why that just happened. I had to close out everything. And that may have been it. I'm not sure what was going on there. That's anyways. Oh, boy. Anyways. Okay. Where were we? Canadian Boys says, who knows? Maybe they're holding the prices high. When, when revalued, they will be worth a fraction of what they are now. Then people will sell and they will buy them all up again and so on. All right. Very good. Uh, I kind of like it. Um, I have the regular proof version. Cool. Yes, JR3. I, yeah, it's kind of, it, that just, that re, uh, reverse or the obverse is just kind of weird because there's nothing in the background there. Was that soft and cuddly for a 440? I'm not sure, CCT. May have been a little piece of hair in there. You never can know. All right. Can you see the screen, everybody? I'm in the stream hole. All right, very good. Ron W., yes, indeed. All right, we can see where you are reading. We cannot, okay, hopefully you can now. Silver Watcher says, um, I collect the gold dollar line. And wow, there's no one speaks to me, but I hope one in my till soon. All right, very cool. Collect the gold dollar line. Oh, but they won't re get in your till soon because these aren't intended for circulation. All right. Okay. Let's see here. John Norris, I wouldn't buy either. $99 gets me a five ounce bar. U.S. Mint needs. Uh, idiots fired. Okay, let's try this. Got another call coming. Hello? Yes? Hello? Yes, hello? Yeah, hi, my name is Sam. I'm calling you with senior benefits. How are you today? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you for asking. Well, sir, actually, the reason of my shot call is to inform you about new low-cost final expense program that covers funeral expenses as well. So the local agent, Tony, will give you a call back in a few days and give you more information. Would that be okay with you? Yeah, I'd rather just talk to you now because I want to make sure that I get everything right and make sure there's no more high-pitched sounds anymore. And okay, so, sir, may I know what? Does the matter what's the better time to give you a call back in a few days, like morning, evening, or afternoon? Uh, yeah, say that again. You kind of scratched up on me. I would rather talk to you now about it than wait a few days. Why would you call me to ask me to call back? We need to talk now. You, 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 you get my drift. 
Sir, say something. I'm not a licensed agent. I'm a licensed agent. So I'm going to give you a call back in a few days, and he will give you all the details about the store crime. So no matter what's a better time to give you a call back in a few days, like morning, evening, or afternoon? No, I'd rather, I would rather you know, we talk, you and me. I think you're licensed. I think that you know what you're doing. I'm here to set up a program for you, sir. I'm saying that I'm not a licensed agent. I think you're licensed. I think you know what you're doing. I think you do know what you're doing. All right, he hung up on me. So that one didn't do it. That didn't cause a problem. That's good. All right, we're good. That means we can call the son of a biscuit back, William. Let's call William back. Hmm. I think we're good now, people. He's a son of a motherless goat. That's what I should have told him. Yeah, exactly. Everybody hangs Please up. Please leave on your me. message for Haman Cheek. What? Haman Cheek. I thought this was William. What's going on here? Let's call Grog. The, let's call Raja, not Grog. Let's call Raja. Raja. Okay, Raja. <laughs> Freddie Brandt's got himself a Thai girlfriend, so he's dating Crown Collector now. Nice. Canadian boys, I am heard. Hey, there you go, Canadian here. Hello, Canadian boys. Good to see you. Starting to get through all your comments. I had a problem with the audio here. We're calling him Raja now. <laughs> Let's call Josh back. Yeah, there we go. Good idea. The person at extension 112 is not available. Record your message at the tone. Press any key or... All right, we're going to call Josh back. See if he's getting getting his... uh His, what, his Jimmy waxed. All right. Oh, man. KD Scrapper is going to hit the like button. Very cool. Nice. Thank you. Phil Brown. Please leave your message for 347886563. Josh, I was just calling to see if you were getting your uh, Jimmy West. Nothing has been recorded. What? Record your message after the tone. Simply hang up when done. Or for delivery options, press the pound sign. Jimmy, I was calling to see if you were getting your Josh waxed. And if you were done, let's Nothing talk. Nothing has been recorded. You Record your biscuit. message after the tone. You son of a biscuit. You son of a biscuit. Let's call you back, you son of a biscuit. Make sure we're not still pitchy. No pitch. No high pitch. You got me. I wonder if we could call these other people back again. Uh... I want to find the history, recent. Okay, here we go. Um, oh, yes, here we go. Okay. <clears throat> Calling up the uh, Social Security Administration again. Phil Brown just got a Brazilian. Nice. Psyop, psyop. No other calls. Here we go. They're wise to me now, I think. I'll we'll have to go back to the comment review now. John Norris, I wouldn't buy either. $99 gets me a five ounce bar. U.S. Mint needs everyone fired. Idiots. How do morons get these jobs? Well, I mean, you know, the thing is, is that's part of what. Um, um, 
they have nothing to do with that. I don't, don't understand your comment there, John. Um, collector coins are going to cost money. I mean, th this is actually technically probably not a bad price for U.S. Mint and for co some collector coins. Uh, but uh, yeah, it would be nice if it was cheaper. It is pricey, but uh, nonetheless, you could pay a lot more depending on where you go. Silver to $83,000 in seven to eight years, says El Porno. Could be. Ultra thick uh, allegories. Seriously, you don't take a limited edition coin that comes out with a COA out of the capsule. And as a coin collector stacker, you should know to wear gloves. That's a rookie mistake. Just dumb. Now that coin's finished, it's going to be ruined. And if you ever sell it, you won't get top dollar. Just terrible. Oh, no. <laughs> Didn't he um, respond before? I thought I already responded to this guy. But the coin is fine. I've actually posted a video on why I touch my coins with my bare hands. It's actually better than cotton gloves because cotton gloves are abrasive, actually. So, um, yeah, as long as your hands are clean, then it's okay. And if you're careful, you touch the edge, um, then you'll be fine. You know what I'm saying? You'll, you'll be fine. Okay. Big Jim says, did you say it has a minimal effect on pricing? I had to listen to you say that three times. If I had a little effect, uh, that would not do it. Did you actually say that? If yes, why would you say that? He has a minimal effect. Just curious as to what makes you think and comment on how much this type of action has effect. Not only comment, but say minimal effect on the price long term. That's just it. In short term, it could have a big effect if enough people do it. But uh, I don't see how it, it, it could not affect the price in the short term. And if it does affect the short term, it's affecting the price long term. That's where you're mistaken. But short term or long term are two different things. You can have things happen in the markets. We've seen spikes up and down based off of manipulation in the short term, but it tends to bounce back like a rubber, like a rubber band. Um, uh, there's no one that has the power, I think, in any one organization other than what the Hunt brothers did, which will never happen again. Uh, so anyways. Oh, we have to use a condom to touch your coins. That's right, CCT. All right. Let's see here. Okay. Solomon Sese says, I love your voice. You can do documentaries. You have a unique voice. Well, thanks. I need to, I'd like, like to get that. Yeah. I told this guy, this guy posted this comment and did, if he would have looked back one video, he would have seen that I did already did a video about it. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. Daniel Bull run a land. Let them spoof more cheap silver for us. Back to his comment, Big Jim says, yeah, I mean, it's like a rubber band. I told you, anyways, uh, there's no real evidence that it's having that much of an effect, uh, really, because a lot of natural market forces have a much bigger role. Today's uh, prices, I think, should reflect that. All right. All right, Chiefly Chieftain, we need stiffer penalties for this kind of stuff. Send them to prison. Yes, indeed. CCT, who was the guy that used to put socks on his hands to handle coins? Oh, man, I don't know. I don't remember that guy. I don't know. Were they dirty socks? Not sure. Okay, let's see here. Bill457 says, the reverse proof one is nice minus on the way I'm typing this comment. Yes, I'm typing this comment. I have the proof, one from years uh, what I don't get is there are both 2018 coins that are going to come out with one from every state of a famous inventor. Uh, well, invention or innovation. Uh, and they will be releasing for a year, I think, till the year 2032. All right. Barbara Carbon says, very beautiful coin, Sal. Nice with George Washington signature. Excellent collective piece. It's not about the monetary value. I like the enclosure of the first patent with the number one. For the making of Potash by Samuel Hopkins. Very historic. I used to have a job with patents. It's fascinating. Enjoy your collection. What about the other two you received? Very cool. Yes. Thank you, uh, Barbara. Yeah, the other two look fine. They didn't have spots on them, but that's cool that you worked uh, uh, in the patents office. I'd love to have a patent. Uh, everything says patent pending, and it seems like that's forever. I guess it takes a while to get patents these days. Down in New Mexico, that's an ugly coin. Okay. I, he's not a big fan. He's showing fake disgust. 
here in this comment. Doesn't like those banksters. And he says, are you going through an ugly coin face? Why did you buy three of them? Base metal. I know. Well, they actually uh, had stopped selling. I don't know if they're sold out. I haven't checked the website. I'm too lazy. But uh, anyways. So for Wolverine, I'm sure nothing will happen. JP's a crook. Bottom line, crook. There you go. I'm manipulating the price of silver. Cornering the market, baby. There you go. I'm just manipulating silver when I fondle it in my hands. All right. You know who, and guess what will happen? Zero, nothing, not it. And our buddy stays in the house in Connecticut after he gets out and receives a nice chunk of metal that should have quite the price appreciation by then. Yes, whales trade crypto to show volume. Okay, so it does happen in the um, in the cryptosphere. Thank you. All right. Tesla solar panels are burning up. No way. I did not hear about that. That's scary. That's not good. I'm finding... Uh, so my panels are are starting to lose their um, effectiveness way beyond their and I having one's gonna get one was already replaced and another one is coming. Apparently, there's a problem with those particular ones where the and uh, I guess something was wrong with them. They're gonna fix it free. Thank goodness. Coins A to Z. I'm someone who has matured to have to like the design to be able to justify buying a coin. This design just doesn't appeal too much to me, but thanks for giving us a look. And don't forget, Platinum to the Moon. Yes, I, I agree. I mean, there's some aspects of it. I kind of like it. I kind of like it only because it's the first, and the first coin, for what I mentioned, doesn't have a person on it. And uh, some of it's not too bad of uh, the design, but uh, yeah, I'm with you. All right. Tomoko's Enterprise. The more they catch... And incarcerate the higher the spot goes. Good figure, eh? They all need their butts hand nailed to the wall. There we go. All right. Thank you. Just this has got the silver one saving up for the gold. Very good. Very attractive looking coin. Glad you picked it up. I was wondering what it looked like. Yes. Me too, Anaya. She was the first one that posted a video on the um, on the American Liberty Medal. Silver. Love Chris. Says, love unboxing. Love gold. And I like your channel. Well, thank you. Appreciate that, Love Chris. Appreciate that. Christopher Sanchez, he touched the coin barehanded in daylight. Yes, indeed. Yes, sir. Fossil Metal says, sadly, I think more of these cases will come to light until the markets represent actual physical metals. It's far too easy for them. Yes. All right. Something. I just said something for Terry. Yankee Pride posted something there, but I don't know what that is. A little square. That would be nice, says Step Stacker. About is gold... Um, what should we call it? Is gold uh, increase in supply? Low blood pressure says I need to go there. Too bad the locals are still being absolute poverty. Yes, yes, indeed. Okay, let's see here. Big damage to six Walmart stores roofs, all for the uh, for the uh, solar panels. That's crazy! Wow. I'm here. Let me see if you guys are just fooling me. Huh. I'm here. Yeah, there you go. You guys can hear me. All right. Thought. Jeff Kone says, Africa has a tendency to change the rules, especially after the mine is built. It's a more risky mine investment than other countries. Yes. All right. That's true. All right, Metal Bum, post a little monkey on there. Thank you, Metal Bum. As we move our way up the comments now, guys, keep high. Good, maybe gold will go down now. Perhaps so. I'd like it for it to go down. It could be salt, salting it to sell the company. That could, very well could be true, Chad. All right. Send you some quiet cookies. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there you go, CCT. Andre G, the projected haul of 50,000 ounces per year in Kabata is not enough to have a big impact on the gold price. If the other mines in Africa increase in production, it can have an impact on the price. The question is how much gold is really there. Yeah, exactly. That's right. DW says five or six companies bringing in a million ounces would definitely drop the price of gold. I wouldn't invest as a country can take over the mines at any time. Yeah, that's a good point. Very good point. All right. Down in New Mexico, why would you want to mine it in a crap hole country? Because I want to call someone who cares. 
Jay Silver Bravo, yet again, another very informative video cell. We love what you do for the metals community. Well, thank you, Jay Silver Bravo. I certainly appreciate you, my friend. Very cool. All right. There you go. Thank you so much. Carl Electrum says, get up, get up, get down on the prices. Uh, with the gold prices, disturbed voice. All right. Get up, get up, get down. He's trying to sing to me in disturbed voice. 143 Druid. One mind is not going to do heat. The approaching spike in demand will finally fund new exploration in day late and a kilo short. Inflation will consume all physical supply gains. Gold are new record highs in most currencies. Yes, indeed. All right. Very good. K9 is here. Hello, K9. Baby Stack 85. Good to see you. Coin Sense and Nonsense. Thanks for another interesting article. Lots of potential in West Africa. But such a dangerous region, yes. And they were trying to sell it that the, the southern part is stable, but eh, I don't know. Is it a stable country? Yeah, that's a thing. Okay, I wonder if it's a stable country. Thank you, Mr. Sting. Uh, the only one gold, one only gold miner to invest in is a, in a retired CEO is one of the major miners who started his own company, the Canadian guy. Wow. All right. All right. Good night, CC. Getting late for him there. Have a great evening. Remember to keep your feet on the stars and reach for the ground. There you go, CCT. Thank you, my friend. Have a good evening. William Ayunitsis. The Africans are holding those two pieces of kilogram gold pieces for years. Now such a day for us. Don't let them kid you. All right. TRP. Mali is a mess. I wouldn't exactly call the southern part stable. Maybe more stable than north. That doesn't mean it's stable. Uh, Burkina Faso, while stable, is producing higher volumes of gold. Has no EPA or OSHA-like office. It's a horrible what they're doing. Yes, that's the thing. You got to wonder if it's safe for the people there and the environment. Really awesome videos. As a mega shadow. Thank you. All right, Step Stacker. I saw the dip in silver prices today. Also, it was stacking Stormtrooper. There you go. That's what it was. First, I've been buying still. You see that gold buff sale. Apparently, I missed out. Did you get one? I hope so. Bye, 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 says Jay Silver. Yo, says Mr. Popzilla. Thank you so much. Silver, limey. The basis of any trading or making money is buying the dips. That it is. That it is. Micheline Burgett. Well, now we are going to hear wars in Africa from those mafias to Africa. Yes, we could. We're doing well, Silver Lime. We hope you are too. Matt Langstrat. All right. This is the guy that really cursed me out last time. And he deleted his comment after. He didn't have to do it. I don't mind criticism. Just I appreciate a little bit more of a gent or, you know, just, I don't know. Uh, but, anyways, he says brilliant market timing. How convenient for them. Perhaps they should start. A salted mine. I mean, salt mine. Geez, again, you were thinking and said the same thing while I was typing this. Truly have a great channel. Well, thank you, Matt. I hope, I'm glad I didn't lose you as a sub. And again, I, I appreciate any criticism um, uh, if it's done in the right way. So thank, thank you, Matt. I appreciate that. Micheline says, probably France is already in Mali, the mafias to African continent. All right. Jose Varala, very informative. As always, thank you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. And this little stack, I have nothing to add but a like. Well, I appreciate the like. And a uh, and little every comment helps, too. I appreciate that, Eddie's. Bruce Boyles, thank you very much for your tips. As much appreciated. XGD is also good in the gold department. Thanks, Bruce. And Micheline sold back Canadian maple leaves this afternoon. Senegal has a lot of silver. I used to live in Senegal. And every single leaves... Or a silver ring. I didn't so silver, silver ring. I did not know, Micheline, um, that Senegal was a Senegal was a silver um, mining uh, uh, country. That's cool. All right, let's see here. Everywhere in Africa, so Africa is rich in gold and copper. Silver is down in price next Monday. Well, thank you, Micheline. Gold is just too expensive. Silver is, is better just because of that. Yes. Yeah. I know. I tell you. I do like that silver is cheaper for sure. If 
you know, if we're going to buy it, but I'm, I'm in the gold buying mode, so it doesn't help me much. Mark B, thanks, Sal. But thank you, the Silver Bean Counter. Appreciate your thoughts there, for sure. I know it's China partially lifted restrictions on imports of gold. I'm unable to find the details. Uh, China made another move. I told my wife, buy gold right now. She did. Only one Dutch coin, about a tenth of an ounce of gold, responded to Chinese move. Read more, make, make more profit. There you go, being in the know. But timing those markets is pretty tough. All right, let's see here. Omega Shadow, awesome video. Thanks. Red Step Stacker, yes, we called you. Been doing well. Responded to your comment. Appreciate you. If a Stacker is here, Carl Electrum, I have no control over price manipulation, but all control of, manip of nipple manipulation. There you go. Even better. That's right. Hello, Maya's Coins. Good to see you. I know it says, before I sell my home, I'm going to find gold nuggets in my backyard. A can of gold color spray paint is cheap. That it is. Hi, Sal. How enticing. How about the guacamole and salsa dips? Yeah, I don't know. Yes, exactly. I don't know. Mr. Popzilla popping in with a super chat. One dollar. Thank you, sir. Very much appreciate it. Slathering whispers for slurpers. Thanks again, Mr. Popzilla. Here's a slurp in your honor, by the way. Ah, very good. There's your help, Barbara Carbone. Jackie Grice says, waking up in the morning and making coffee while listening to Sal's Precious Metal News broadcast, much better than the crappy AM radio news. Well, thank you, Jackie. That means a lot. I do appreciate that very much, definitely. Amazon is also getting mined and destroyed. Yes, we've actually talked about that, and there's some controversy over gold that's been coming out on the Amazon reason. Yes, is you lurking? Yes, lurking and slurping. Says tricky guy. All right. Tomoko's Enterprise. I never care is when I need silver to pour. I need silver. So I'm kind of held at ransom. I know. I hear you, brother. All right. We got some hellos from uh, Food Stamp. Silver does a very good job of enticing Fiat Destroyer. Yes, indeed. Some beautiful things made of silver for sure. All right. Yes, I've been lurking the whole time, tricky guy. I'm a lurker. Terry slithered out. Where did Terry go? How can she leave without saying goodbye? Uh, all right. Here we go, Step Stacker. Nipples don't look any older than 30. Nice. Peter Oro says, nice coin sell. Not one that I would necessarily buy, but hey, an ounce of AU is an ounce more of the stack. There you go. That's in the worst case scenario. We've got that going for us. That's right, Peter Oro. Ozzy Alchemist, believe it when I see it. And disappointing, nothing mentioned about other products, metals. Yes, I know. I tell you. Thank you, Ozzy. Wild Eats. Reads like penny stock propaganda. Yeah. Hey, I'm a little, a little leery of it, too. Fortune and Adventures is here. TJIF. Yes. Thank God it's... Uh, thank God I'm fortunate. Thank God I'm fortunate. I like that, Fortune and Adventures. Jeff Coney, can anybody find silver 2019 mine production to date? I think we'll get that next time. But let's find out from the scammer. We'll find out here. Hello? Hello? A lot of these they call and then they hang up. It's a robo. Hi. Hello? Yep. The robo calls come out and then it hangs up. All right. Very good. TRP, I'll buy when it's under $15 uh, for a month because the price and premiums will be low. All right. Very good. Self-aware says, I hope they can uh, double the above ground gold totals. The only thing keeping us off the gold standard is quantity. They would have to represent at 10000 with the current supply. Too much reward for those holding the stuff. Double the supply and it's set representation of 5K. Do able in my mind. Simple mind. That's why Trump wants Greenland. They know what's under that ice. Africa is nothing. Oh, boy. Wow. You never know. Yeah, could be something under Greenland. All right. Pot of Jam is here. Good to see you. How many viewers do we have? And only 25 likes. We got, we got about uh, 700 people watching now. We have 700 viewers watching now and only 17 likes. Can you believe that? Can you believe that, guys? That wasn't a rhetorical question. That was an actual legitimate question. Do you believe I've got 700 viewers and only 17 likes? $17 is a new floor still buying. Ozzy agrees with me. Thank you. 
Micheline says, I'm sure I will buy more silver than I sold today as the price go below again between 16, 15, 16.95 from coins did our stores. All right. Silver Honda, not much of a dip, but still buy. I only buy what I can afford no matter what the spot price is. Yes. All right. Hi, Sal, says Terry. She made it back. Terry made it back. Very good. Thank you for making it back. I think she's still here. Yeah. Our native Terry made it. Josh Craven says, be kind of nice. If enough gold flooded the markets to drop prices, I like to increase my gold stack for much cheaper. All right. All right. Very good. Potter Jam is exhausted after last night. All right. I don't know what you did last night. Did last night, but hope you uh, get some rest. I have my monthly budget for silver. I keep buying. Just look for deals. If I can grab it cheap, that's what I go with. There you go. Always buying until I sell. That's right. Very good. <clears throat> Let's see here. Nah, I mean, it's here. Silver is evil. Oh, boy. I silver. I just little stack. I'm only taking... This at half face value. The small cap companies can do fake these numbers, pump it up. That's right. Uh, take everything for a grain of salt for sure. All right. I won stuff. I never get tired of winning things. You should be wide awake. Jim Farrell. A lot of smart people are seeing long overdue recession. The price of silver stuck between a manipulation and a hard place. A recession will come. Silver will rise. But will you sell? Uh, good question. I don't know. Silver is flirting with $16.99, which means I should be getting some cheap silver come payday. All right. I hope you can pick some up. I'm going to have a slurp of coffee. Mm. Ah. Low blood pressure. Pop of silver. Paper silver is not silver. Buy physical. Buy, buy, buy. I agree. It's only the illusion of silver. Mr. Larry Whittington, Mr. Sal, when I noticed you sharing this mining when I was first thing I thought was a possibility, thanks for uh, gossiping. Yes, just look at it as very cautious. I mean, very cautious when looking at it. Got to really research these companies. That's why I don't get into mining stocks. Precious metals above all else are commodities. They will act accordingly when the financial world ro royals. Simple supply and demand forces, fear and greed, usefulness and me will do most to dictate its movement. Yes, but there's something special about gold and silver as a hedge, as an insurance policy that stands beyond the commodities. So I think above all else, they are hedges. Commodities only second. Uh, now nah, I means couldn't get no silver, couldn't get no gold. He's singing me a song, but I don't know who that is. Homebrew says, I want to find a 2K nugget. I do too, two kilogram nugget. All right, let's see here. Where are we at? Silver on sale, says Mr. All Fang. That it is. Silver's on sale. Fire Trace, that five ounce allegory look like a hockey puck. Got a couple in order. I expect that being a minage of only 500, they would be numbered. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, I was kind of surprised it wasn't numbered either. Yes, indeed. I would have loved to have gotten number 500. That would be cool. Silver Beach Bum says, great video as usual, my friend. Reading this, all reading this, need to subscribe. Did you hear that? Silver Beach Bum says to subscribe. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. We just got another like on this video as you said that. Thank you, Silver Beach Bum. All right. Fire Trace, Atmex had it on sale today, initially at $2.99. When I went back later, it was $4.29. Wow. Crazy, crazy. Insane. They're throttling it out. Cliff Tutty K, did you watch the market this morning? I guarantee it's being manipulated to some extent. Even so, after work, I purchased another 20 ASCs and a few more ounces of constitutional. All right. Yeah, I think there is some manipulation. All right. Chris Garner is, uh, I bought a kilo of gold coin today. Nice, Chris Garner. He was just kidding, but I, we can live vicariously through his kidding. Nice, nice. <clears throat> Sal owes us B. What do I keep? What do I owe you guys? Let me. I want to get through these comments and we'll see what I owe you. Keith High not buying any new silver until it drops below fifteen dollars. Till then, I'm gonna buy second hand for fifteen dollars, but getting seven to ten ounces a day at this price. Well, Keith, it looks like you were uh, incorrect thinking it was gonna go down to twelve. 
I don't think it'll go down to 15 anytime soon. We may have, those days may be over. I'm not saying they will be for sure over, but, um, you know, uh, it's been holding on here. Uh, above that $17 here, been holding that resistance for quite a while. Okay. Hot Neo. People should watch the movie Goal starring Matthew McConaughey. It's based on a true story. I did see that of a fraud mine that tricked Wall Street investors. And they're sitting in a worthless mine where they sprinkle in gold in the samples to make it look very appealing to investors. Most of the gold that is easy to get is gone down to microscopic levels, one ounce per four tons. The only place where there could be more gold to, to discover is in China because they are new to gold mining and they are keeping it in their reserves. So the outside world, it doesn't exist. That's right. All right. Let's see here. East stars. My opinion, this was one of your best videos in a while. These gold nuggets are bananas. Amazing. So cool. Uh, to hear about another gold rush in North in, in Africa, to find another like that, that many of us can only dream about. Peace out. And I think that's the thing that gives the story a little bit of validity. Uh, however, I guess there is some chance that those nuggets could have been placed there. However, they can look at the geological footprints of those to see if that's the case. By the way, I found out afterwards that they were found in 2014 and 15, I think. Very good. Thank you, East stars Toshio loves his silver. Very good. Richard Simpson says, patiently waiting for bigger dip to buy. Kuna Coins hopes it drops in price. Thanks you, Richard Simpson, and thank you, Kuna Coins. Let's get on up here in these comments. Let's move up. Let's shift it up. Don't ask. Waiting for 90% to go on sale again and grab and grabbing $20. There you go. Paranoid Philosopher says, the prices for silver are still too good for me, oh, buddy. I buy at a reasonable rate, too, I think, I hope. All right, my friend. This is just a recording. This is not a real live stream. You're watching a recording. Looks like something I'm going to pick up for the design loan. Excellent Wii video, buddy. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate that. Chuck and Plot, everybody wants a piece of that pie and coffee with it. Yes, indeed. We're going to finish out slurping this coffee now. Ah, very good. I like to extend a multitude of gratitude for sharing. Well, thank you, CCT. Appreciate you, my friend. Bogus says, even for the last days, I believe gold and silver is on its way up in the next coming three to four years. So I have to find my new investment strategy. I think it's, I'm pretty bullish on it too, but I don't think it's going to go sky high. But I think, I mean, I don't believe silver will. I believe gold could. Uh, climb back up to that $1,900 an ounce level in the coming years, but we'll see. Ron W., that's a real nice looking coin, Sal. I wouldn't mind buying a few of those. 10 bucks isn't too over the top for reverse proof. I really like your approach about purchasing coins around and have followed your lead. It's more fun, interesting, and relaxing buying with the mindset of collecting versus full blown stacking a little here and there. I bet you have a nice looking collection. When all laid out on display. Thank you. Yes, indeed, Ron. That's how I look at it. I'm definitely more of a collector than a stacker. It's just that I've I've accumulated just enough that the weight alone would mean I have a small stack. All right. Very good. Paranoid Philosopher is going to go, crack open a beer. Very good. This is a sound bot. This is not a live. I have artificial intelligence here. I can respond to your comments without you even understand, thinking that uh, it's a real person. Crack open some heads for Terry. Cyber Curtain Twitcher says, I like to see $1,200 again. Me too. Preferably the silver hitting 25 at the same time. Yes. I think that would be nice. Ron W. Definitely a sweet looking coin. Maybe the, maybe the authentication mark is a sun. Actually, well, he did find out it is in the lettering. I may do a video on that. We'll see. Paranoid Philosopher, I'm going to listen to this as I walk this morning for my shopping. Very cool. Thank you, Paranoid Philosopher. It's nice when you can uh, do it mobily. Me and myself in London town, as I say, a mine is a liner sitting next to a hole in the ground. Yes. Yeah, it's true. You got to be careful. Mali is a Western colony. French and U.S. Army businesses and compliant natives. All right. Very good. 
Part-time preppers, I can only hope it goes back to thirteen hundred dollars so I can get me some more. Yes. I like it like it to go back down too. It's pricey now. A real beauty, Sal. Congrats with gold this high. The only super pit I'm getting is a one under my arms after a hard days of work outside. That's good. Classic comment by part-time preppers. Exactly. Veritas Files stacks, uh, sticks exclusively to one ounce increments of silver. Don't buy specialty items because he's more of a stacker than a collector, so that's understandable. Till he reaches 5,000 ounces. Very good. And old Sal says Michael Baker. Yes, indeed. Was watching the oldest video, Sal. You came a long way in six years. Well, thank you, my friend. Appreciate that. Trying my best here. Got a long way to go yet, too. Gardening, Earth Guy says it's up $17 from $14 in a couple months. Is buying a $17 really buying the dip? Just another thing to ponder. Yeah, well, when I say dip, dip compared to it kind of sprung up a bit above that. It's a small little dip, but you're right, Gardener, Gardener Earth Guy, you're right. Silver Wolverine says, I think we will see $40 silver again, same as I do think we'll see $13 silver again. The question is when? Both may be years off. I don't think we're going to see, I really don't think we'll see $13 silver again. I think those times have passed. Um, I really do. I'd be very surprised. I'll put it to you that way. Yeah, where's Wolfie? Wolfie's been kind of hit or miss lately. We've seen him come in a little, from time to time. Sure, he's just busy. Silver Wolverine, I lost money in a gold mining stock, not because I chose to sell. I'm the financial institution told me that they weren't going to hold me a certain date and basically forced me to sell. Never again, physical only. There you go, brother. Physical is more fun anyway. Jay Debu, someone, Pinehurst Scorns, is selling these for $95. $5 less than the mint. Probably cherry pick through, I imagine. Yeah, wow, that's pretty interesting. Wow, $95. Gene uh, Poleman says, after watching this video, I looked into this particular coin. It comes from Waco, uh, just down the highway, about 50 miles from me. They're a small business grown to a point where they can only sell wholesale to a handful of bullion dealers, which will be in the middle. No matter, though, I'll order some from Matmax. I don't think it comes from Waco. It may be shipped through there, possibly. Matt Garagiardo says, when gold was discovered in the New World, the price of gold wasn't affected per Adam Smith, Wealth of Nations. All right. Interesting, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Chris Garner says, if you realize that silver was to go up that high, then gold would, yeah. Joseph Smith just ordered the silver version. I won't be getting the gold version. I won't either. Rhodium past 4K, that's right. Yep, talked about that in today's video. This one here, gold and silver rally. And we have Joel recognizing first. Minty 178 recognizing second. Both these people are new, never are new to comment anyway. Good to see you. All right. Let's see here. DW says, okay, third. So I don't win something. I don't know. You win. Uh, a shout out here, DW. Thanks, my friend, for posting. Powell again disappoints. What a coward! The Fed creates recessions. Well, they certainly do. Uh, they say that when they raise these rates the first time, they probably shouldn't have done that. All right, getting either one classic pre thirty three. Yeah, I want to get some pre thirty three more, some pre more pre thirty three gold too as well, Chris Garner. I like the Indians. I only have two of those, but I'd like to get more of the Indians, the ten dollar Indians. Of course, the same gardens. I love those coins. Those are wonderful. Uh, the double eagles. I love those. Love it. I'm glad I purchased gold and silver yesterday. Wish I purchased more, but I can't complain for what I got and what I have. Take care, all precious metal lovers. Amen, brother. Thank you, sir. All right, let's have another slurp. We're, we're winding down the slurpage here. Well, I received 10 ounce. Uh, 10 one ounce ASC random uh, today. Feel great. Congratulations. Goodbye there. Definitely. Silver Wolverine, if it's not a trade war, how do you handle China? China, they're rat bastards. China steals everything. Well, that's right. You give Trump credit for this. At least he's um, taking them on. You know what I mean? But it's a tough battle. It's probably one of the toughest battles of his presidency, is my guess. 
Oh, we got some uh, spam comments coming here. All right, let's popzilla. Thank you, my friend. One dollar super chat. Appreciate that very much. Yeah, it is iced coffee. It's really cold now. Uh, let's see here. So this thing, these WhatsApp numbers never work, but uh, here I can report that spam. Report the spam. Report these people really do they really think that their stuff's going to get seen? This guy I had already blocked. I'd already blocked this guy. But he's posting anyway. I don't get it. Let's see here. Boy, a lot of these things come, coming in like crazy. Like crazy these things are. You're gonna have see me do housekeeping. It's just part of the nature of the nature of the beast. The bum rush is coming soon. Hello, so cheaply cheap then. Made it to a live Friday night live. Good to see you. All right, let's see here. Silver Heist. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Exactly right, sir. Exactly right. I don't like the Alabama 2021, but let's see. Seven years from now, a lot, hopefully, I'll be in this country seven years, and hopefully USA will stay as the number one biggest economy. If that is not like in the seven year, hopefully I'll be in China teaching English and stacking there. There you go. Seven years in America. Welcome. That's awesome, my friend. Alan Gold, breaking news. It's called the Internet, and we all have it. Please self-immolate. All right. Thank you for letting us know about the Internet. Hold on a second here. I'm going to do something. And Alan Gold's comment. You know, Alan Gold had the comment of the day with the other one, but he just totally negated it with this comment. Stupid comment. Chris Garner, what's Alabama 2121? That is the um, the America the Beautiful series. It's designed for Alabama in 2021. I have Vane here. Thank you. Thank you, Vogus. Vane of gold and silver. Appreciate you. Welcome to the U.S. Seven years strong here in the U.S. All right. Silver Wolverine is awesome. They said Friday Night Lives are awesome, and Silver Wolverine is awesome. A wild day for sure. Tough day for words with multiple syllables as well. Yeah, I couldn't say. In fact, I'm still not sure I can know how to say it. Um, adoptive. No, um, appreciative. What was the word? I forgot the word. Two streams he bummed us out of. Uh, let's see here. Restart. Computer's wonky. See you on the other side. Okay, tricky guy. Silver holds the future. Got to see Slayer on their farewell tour. You know, I think it's their second farewell tour. But yes, very cool, man. I've yet to see them. I want to see them. Would love to see them live. Yes, indeed. Are they going to record any new albums? Re Repentless was pretty good. I kind of like that one. Silver Wolverine says, hello, Salivate Metal. Well, hello to you, Silver Wolverine. We all live in a Silver Wolverine. A Silver Wolverine. A Silver Wolverine. War Ensemble! Focus, I believe silver is going to break up as gold did pretty soon. All right. Yes. I think it very well could. It very well could. Iron Cowboy says salt of the earth or salting a mine. Something smells a little fishy. Would be great for the company's stock price. Didn't you all get the email about the African Prince and wants to get his money? Yeah, I'm going to be suspicious. I got to take it for a grain of salt. All right. Cuban Link Prepper is here. Hello, Cuban Link Prepper. Good to see you. One last leg all over in the spring. Oh, boy. See, uh, Silver Wolverine was drunk when he typed that comment. Gold is a rubber band and silver is a firing ball to slingshot beyond stratosphere. Unfortunately, this also means the beginning of the end for our current civilization. As you know, I keep stacking on the pullbacks uh, of the slingshot. The currencies of the world are failing everywhere. Negative interest rate, geopolitical tensions everywhere. Massive debt, debt bubbles everywhere. Gold and silver is not a trade. It is and will be the last currency standing, only safe storage of wealth. In the end, that's what happens. Other currencies will try and take the place of the other ones, but gold and silver will live on for sure. 
My coins are turning yellow, says Michael Hosdo. Right. I have money, American Silver Eagle, 1906. How much? Uh, it's not a, it's, it's, it's not, if it's an American Silver Eagle from 1906, it's fake. So it's worth less than a cent. Really, really less than a cent. Hello, food stamp. Jay Silver Bravo. Oh my, I hope I did a great job stacking before the rocket takes off. Yes, indeed. I think you do. You got a good strategy, my friend. Oh, man. Glenn D's going to see Iron Maiden Monday night for the first time. That's another bucket list thing for me. I've yet to see Slayer or Maiden. We'd love to see both of those bands. Ken Hartley, so many beautiful platinum coins are ruined by having that hag on them. Oh, boy. All right. Not a fan of the queen. Yes, Jay. Exciting times. I made more on my put options than I did my silver stack today. All right. Wow. Nice. Nice job. Gardner, Earth Guy. No silver support past 20. The last run up had $5 gas bank, uh, bank bailout, real estate deflation. This isn't 2011 or what the menus calls it. Anyone that would buy silver over 17 as an uncle head, people are, are going to buy your ASC for $400, aren't going to buy. Dump your cash and pump the fool of money nonsense. Yes, it's always good to be reasonable um, and not wishful thinking for the precious metal prices. All right. Gold prices now, where do they stand? Same place it stood before. Because the markets are closed. Look at that, guys. Palladium is the only one that's down. And send the membrane. Nice for the time for the... Where are we at? It's pretty late here. Uh, let's see if we can get another scammer. I want to just call one more scammer just for fun. Ah. <sighs> I just finished that coffee. Uh, we're calling another scammer just as you come on the line, Alan. We're trying to call you. Yum, for Barbara. Barbara likes it. Nice. I like that, Barbara. Do you see that? Alan Gold, Barbara likes the slurps. I wish we had Alan Gold's number. What is Alan Gold's number? I'm going to call Alan Gold. I'm going to call Hillbilly. Cookies, I've got one of these little great value little chippers. There's only like 100 calories, 130 calories, I'm sorry. Let me try to call Raja back. Come on, Raja. Please answer the freaking phone. Come on, Raja. Poop on the way for Sal. That's right. Exactly right. Poop is on the way. We'll call. try to call William back, too. We could try to call Josh back. Let me get Josh straight line funding. We're doing a, we're doing a, hello? yes, is this Raja? Hello. Yes, hello. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Oh, no way. Don't tell me he couldn't hear me. Let me try to call Josh. Do you guys hear me? Let me see. Hello? Yes. You can hear me. God smack. Hello? Josh, are you finished getting the Jimmy Junga or whatever that thing was? You Hello? Were getting... Josh? Can you hear me, Josh? What? Can you talk? You're a dirty bitch. Josh? My balls is on your chin. My balls is on your chin. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's pretty good. I like that. Uh, Josh, I, you, he's got a pretty good uh, falsetto voice there. That's pretty nice. <laughs> He's got to hear me. He's got to hear me. Josh, can, Yellow. can you confirm that you hear me? Can you hear me? Yellow. Yes, Josh, can you hear me? No. 
Yo, Josh. Yeah, my motherfuckers want to stop playing on my phone. Dead ass. Like, stop fucking calling me on some G shit. What? Like, I'm not playing no more. Josh. All right? Wait. And when I come in on Monday, I'm going to press every last money on niggas. That nigga think this shit is a joke. What? Like, that niggas think I don't know who the fuck this is calling what? me. Josh? Like, is it Josh from Fed Street Line funding? Fuck off. Josh. He can't. Nobody can hear me when I call out anymore. Let me try to refresh this. Let me try to. Let me let me let me let me do this. Okay, let me let me let me let me do something here. All right, let me try to let's kind of call Raja again. All right. <clears throat> we yeah, you all could y'all can hear me and him, but they keep they couldn't hear. Apparently, yes, he does have a potty mouth, doesn't he? Silver holds the future. Testing, come on. I need to get a test here. I need to get a test. Hello, yes, can you hear me? Yeah, Mr. Brown, I can hear you now. Oh, good, good. Yes, sir. Hello. Uh, is this Raja? Yeah, this is Raja. Yes, Raja. Um, yes, I was calling about the loan, and we're going to call uh, Josh back in a moment. But anyway, so how do I get this loan happening? I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, you know what I mean? I need to get a, uh, I need to get a doorstop, big old doorstop, cool. and it's a doorstop business that I've got going on here. So I need funding for it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if we can get you the money, but what I need from you is, um, I would have to send you an email that would direct you to the company's website, right? For you to fill a one-page application. Just one once page. Done, yeah, just one page. Okay. And once you're done with that, you forward to me your due recent statement. Then we can go from there. Okay, very good. It sounds good. Nice. Um, so um, uh, yeah, this doorstop idea that I've got, it's it's classic. It's a, what it is is it's I made these special doorstops made of uh, uh silver. They're about 100 ounces a piece, and people can use to keep the door open with them, and people are none the wiser because they think, well, who would steal a doorstop? You know what I mean? People just yeah, wouldn't do that. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Silver doorstops. That's what right, so, That's what holds the future, Raja. That's yeah, where the future is. I, I like the plans. I like the plans. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, we, just have to, we just have to execute them and, and see what's going to happen. You know, we don't have to execute anybody to do this, Raja. It's a completely safe enterprise. No one will need to be executed, assassinated, or otherwise killed. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not talking about um, executing someone. I mean executing the plan or the idea, the business idea. That's what I mean. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Yes, yes. Very good. <laughs> yes. All right. Nice. Yes. Okay. Very good. I, I was right. hoping you weren't a violent person. Very good. Oh, no, 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 that's all, no, that's all. All right, um, so um, can I have your email so that I forward to you the one-page application before I leave the office in the next 30 minutes? Um, yes, yes, it is, uh, it is, it is the silver door stopper. And could you spell it out for me? Uh, T-H-E-S-I-L-V-E-R, D-O-O, yeah. Please look out for me, T-H-E. Yeah, S-I-L-V-E-R. S I L V E R silver, okay. Uh, door. That's D O O R. All right. Stopper. That's full stop. Yeah, S T O P P E R. Dot com. S T O P P E R. At yeah, and this is um at. Uh, Lycos dot net. At what? Lycos dot net. Lyco, Lycos, yeah, yeah, co.net, yeah. Lico.net. So right. let me spell it out again. T H E S I L V E R. Yeah. D O O R. Right. Dot. Um, D O O R stopper. S T O P P E R. P P. L I. I do have to go P P. Now that you say it, I do got to go. Man, that's kind of weird. Just you saying that, and I've got to urinate like something else. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So um, that, that's the email, S-T-O-P-P-E-R. Yeah, double P. -E -R. Yeah, you're right, that. That's for sure. I got a double P. I got a P on the double. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. L-I-C-O dot net. All right. So I'm going to send you the email now. Okay, and great. Um, 
How soon should I behave from you? How soon should you behave from me? I'm always yeah. on my best behavior. All right, all right. Yes. That's what, that's, that's what that's All right, right. All right. So I'll give you, when I send the email, I'll give you a call to just notify you that I've sent the email then. Yeah. Tell me if you received it or not. Okay, right. yeah, sounds good. I mean, we'll get Don Everhart on this. Very good. All right. Sounds good and uh, very good. So we will do that and we'll, and, um, and we'll kind of go from there. We'll see what kind of uh, doorstops and funding we can get for the company. And uh, it'll just be just fabulous. I got I gotta go pee. I gotta go urinate right now. I'm gonna go pee in the toilet, <laughs> not on the corner okay. or some street, not not on top of an elephant or anything like that. All right, sounds good. By the way, yes, indeed. What part of uh, are you in Lagos, Nigeria, by any chance? No, no, no. I'm in Manhattan, New York. Manhattan, New York. Okay, cool. Yeah. Nice, nice. All right, very good. All right, thank you, uh, Raja. Have a good day, and we will talk to you later. No problem. Thank you very All much. Right, bye bye. But now we can call back uh, Josh so that we can see. We don't want, oh, I feel bad that Josh from Straight Line Funding was so upset there. Yes, it is the second time today, but I think it's still the same live stream, I believe. Yeah, Silver Holds the Future, you did it. We got to get Josh back on the phone here. Come on, Josh. Uh, play with us here. Come on. Josh? Please leave your message. Oh, come on, Josh. Three, four, seven, eight. Please answer the phone. We got it working again this time. We got it working. Two times a nightmare. Alan Gold, did you hear me talk about doorstops? That was... That wasn't... Josh? Please leave your message. Oh, come on, Josh. Three, four, seven, eight, eight. Josh, don't do this to me, Josh. He went on ghetto on us. <laughs> he went on ghetto on us last time. Please leave your message for We're gonna leave a three, message. four, seven, eight, eight, six, five, six, two, three. Josh, you went on ghetto on me, brother. What's up with that? I had problems with my audio. Now you should be able to hear me. I'll call back. Please pick up the freaking phone, Josh. We need to do business. We need to do business like it's nobody's business. That's the kind of business I like to do. Answer the phone, Josh. Let's call us back. Let's call him back. <laughs> Leave a message asking if he is a triple OG. Josh. Please leave your message. Oh, come for on, Josh. Three, four, seven. Let's try to call him, though. No. Ghetto, you racist. No, I'm not racist, Donald. It's the way he was talking. He was all getting ghetto like on me. It had nothing to do with race. We're going to call William Sheik's back, too. Mail system. You have reached the mailbox of 7012 at the tone. Please record your message. When you have finished recording, press pound or simply hang up. Mo, you told me this was your cell number. Cell numbers don't have mailbox numbers. You lied to me, Mo. Not cool, Mo. Not cool. We're going to try to call it Bitcoin Scammer next. See ya. I am trying to bit hello step stacker. We're trying to call a Bitcoin scam. I don't think they're gonna answer. Throw in the river, Sal says it will stack. Oh, manganese unite. Manganese, all right. Here's here is um let's make this happen. Let's get cracking on it. Oh, we're calling William. We're calling William. Cur Curly and uh, Curly and Larry are there. Got lightning bolt tats on his neck. That's right. That means I am gang. I'm in the gang. I'm a gangster player. I'm a gangster player. 
feel me, bro? Please Hope. leave your message for Armand Cheeks. Armand Cheeks. No. All right, let's do one more call from the deep bowels of my inbox. Let's see here. Club Babs. All right, let's make this happen. We've got to make, we got to get one more. Gym funding dollars are available, but you never answer, Gary Bailey, from whatever that freaking company is you got. All right, cool in the gang. All right, let's sing them some cool in the gang. Celebration time, come on. We're going to celebrate, yeah. Celebration time, come on. We got to celebrate whatever the rest of the words are now. Okay. <clears throat> All right, source portable. Where are we at? Cena. Okay, Cena. Yeah, that's right. Jody Messina. Let's try to call her. She's from uh, Shore Funding Solutions again. <clears throat> We're not going to get this. This is not going to, I can already guarantee you, she's not going to answer. All right. Oh, it's forwarding over. Wow. Okay, this is good news. This is promising. We might get Cena. I've seen a lot. Come on, Cena. Come on, Cena. 32 watching now, 38 likes. We've exceeded the like to... Hello, I'm not available. So what? a message and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Bye. That was Cena. We're not going to leave a message because we don't want her to block the number. We'll leave that for another time to grab. Oh, uh, let's see here. I wish I had that other number. Dang it. Alan Gold, email me your phone number. I'll call you quick. You're off of work now. Good grief. Come on. You can do it. Send me an email. I'm waiting for the... I'm waiting for Alan Gold's email to me with his phone number so I can call him. Got my inbox, inbox ready to go. Inbox is ready to go. Still no email from Alan Gold. Nothing. All right, guys. Well, we had fun. We've been going for a long time tonight. Uh, appreciate you all being here and all that jazz. <clears throat> and um, so here's the bum rush. Everybody have a good night. There's only uh, 33 of you in here. Pre-33. That means I'll be less than 33 here in a moment. Very good. You guys, we had a fun time tonight. I appreciate you. A multitude of gratitude, y'all, for watching. And uh, here's a little advice for you. Keep your feet on the stars and keep reaching for the ground and stay out of trouble. Oh, that's a pretty common thing to say, isn't it? See you guys later. Bye-bye.